Hello friends, let us think about an organization. How do they look like? It's a very difficult question because organizations are very complex and it's very difficult to understand. But you know the goals of organization is to achieve the goals that have been set for the whole group or the organization itself. How do I achieve those goals? We achieve by designing it by certain means. What are those means? We talk about different kinds of structures around but all of them are pretty complicated and there are a lot of combinations around. So here we are talking about images of organization, a wonderful work done by Gareth Morgan, wherein Gareth Morgan defined different metaphors for understanding the organizations. So if I ask you a question, uh, what does your school look like? So we all go back to our memories and it's like, you know, some people will say, going to school was like uh, visiting a garden some would say it was like going to a jail or maybe it is like going to a circus. So there are a number of you know, metaphors for our feelings, our understandings of what is available to us outside. So we have better understanding of what is going on. You know, when I say I'm going to a garden as a school, uh, well, I'm trying to say that my school had a lot of different things around which were like complementary to each other. They were like natural environment and I was learning out of it. I was enjoying it with all natural things around me, right? Going to a jail was like saying, there were too many norms around. It was like at the bell, I have to enter the school, I go to the class, there's a fixed period, I have to complete my assignments, and everything is you know, time bound, there's a lot of structured things around. It's like saying that I make a small mistake, I get punished for it. So it's more of like saying it's like going to a jail. I'm getting modified, people are changing my behavior in a certain manner. So here we're trying to relate metaphors with our understanding of the organization. So Gareth Morgan came up with very interesting metaphors for organization. They were like machines, organisms, brains, culture, political, psychic prisons, flux and transformation, and finally instruments of domination. Let us have a quick understanding as to what these metaphors stand for. So when we talk about machines, of course, we can always imagine the machines all around us. We are living in a world of machines. Everything is being taken care of by them. But then uh, let us have a look at a watch. I'm talking about watch with those, you know, fingers of seconds, minutes in hours, right? Otherwise also, if you look at those watches around, you know, you've got a lot of elements of it doing different roles in the watch. When I say roles in the watch, I'm saying roles in the organization. So your organization is like a watch. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And it's just completing its cycle again and again. Completing the standard operating procedures again and again. Of course, there is some scope for correction at times. You can set your time. But then it is more of running into a machine. Right? So you become an element of a machine. A wheel of a machine. Nothing more than that. So if it is overemphasized, we said that we are becoming more of machines than humans. Of course, it has got its own pros and cons, right? Of course, industrial revolution happened and that was because of machines. So what we have today has got some kind of input to it. The next metaphor that we talk about is organism. So organisms like us, you know, humans, trees, animals, plants. So we see all of them all around us, right? Look at plants, for example, where do they grow, where they get proper sunlight, air, water, manure, they grow over there. So it's like saying adapting to the environment around us. So is our organization like an organism adapting to the environment around us or we are trying to force ourselves like machines into it? So of course we would say that as you grow along with the environmental support, things are very different as compared to the fixed mode of the machines. So here we are talking about adaptability to things around us. The third metaphor that was talked about was brains. Of course, look at us. How do we learn? So we learn by observing things around. We see it, we try it, and we learn from it. The moment we learn from it, we practice it. Say, for example, you stumble over a rock. So there's a learning that if I hit a rock and I lose my balance, I fall. What do I do next? The moment I see a rock, I either take a different route to avoid it or I will see that I can remove the rock so that no other person gets hit by it. So, you know, there are a lot of learnings around. So what is happening around with the 
organization that functions like a brain they learn from their own mistakes and their achievements so it's a continuous learning process that becomes important to us uh, let us look at something known as culture that is the fourth metaphor you know how do we form a culture so i think you remember the video on organizational culture we talked about beliefs values and norms so one way of running an organization or controlling an organization is by our own beliefs values and norms so it's like saying that my organization has certain values that it follows it stands for something right it might be diversity for example but it leads me into doing whatever i'm doing all around in the organization i might say integrity yes that is there i'll do it i might say it's my value stand for that i'll go for innovations fine there is something that i stand for i represent myself and hence whatever i do it is reflected in my each and every process that is available so i can manage or i can do a wonderful job as an organization by following a certain set of cultural values so it's a metaphor as to what my organization looks like we follow something and that's it that's a broad guidelines that we have with us the other metaphor that we talked about is political so it's like saying we have got a lot of stakeholders in the organization right so you've got your own set of employees departments maybe you've got different verticals also but then you've got your customers you've got government as a stakeholder you've got your fellow uh, competitors in the market you've got society as well there are a lot of people around a lot of stakeholders around right there is always a conflict of interest and within the organization this conflict of interest leads to power plays also is it so that the organization is running because somebody wants to achieve more power or more uh, wants to earn more respect or money whatever it is so that actually defines the way your organization functions then you have another metaphor that talks about psychic prisons so we all have uh, our own value systems and everything around us right at times people get obsessed with it and they refuse to look beyond their domain beyond their area around it's like saying a frog in a well now a frog in a well doesn't understand what a pond looks like what a sea looks like and is trapped in their own thought process that there is nothing beyond this so we tend to get into it and such organizations do not grow a lot they become stagnant over a period of time then there is another interesting metaphor that is flux and transformation now talking about flux and transformation you know it's like a learning organization you tend to learn from different things around maybe it is like because you did something you analyze self and then you do it maybe it was the time of trouble that you started learning it or else when you say learning organizations you know there are loops of positive and negative learnings you whatever you do you know you will have good experiences you will also have some bad experiences and there is a cycle to it to remove those bad experiences you will do something to create positive ones again you get into it so there is is a continuous loop of learning that is happening around and of course they say that whatever you propose there is always an opposite proposition also available for that there is a anti logic always so we talk about learning as a logical process and while we say flux we say that change is the only constant so we keep on learning we keep on developing ourselves then finally we say that there is one more metaphor of organization and that is instrument of domination oh yes so a lot of exploitation happens we want to extract more from people that are working for us and it is also you know extension of political metaphor as well but then it's like saying extract the most from the people that i have with me for that i can use my guns for that that is by force giving them different targets and that is a vicious cycle it goes on it leads to a lot of failures from the employee some leave some are not able to survive but then it goes on so if now you look at these eight metaphors that we talk about as images of organization we say that of course each of them has got its wonderful understanding you know the moment i say it i imagine things i can imagine it real clear now and of course we say that at times our organizations are a mix of these eight metaphors around what we need to identify is which one of those metaphors is a dominant factor in my organization 
So if I look at my organization, of course, I can identify some parts wherein I have to work like a machine. At times they say, okay, fine, what else can you do? You got some time to try something new. Well, they are trying to become an organism. They are trying to look at what is going in the external environment, uh, trying to check what competitors are doing. So there are a lot of things. And then you start learning from your experiences, that is brains. You have different set of cultural values that you carry with you and you try to translate into everything that you do. And in all the process, as people work together, of course, there will be some political issues as well. So how much I give, say, uh, power to these political issues in my organization? Can I control it beforehand? So I need to think in those terms. Uh, am I becoming a psychic prison within the organization or this organization is a psychic prison as such? You enter and you just get into a different thought process. This is how things will happen now. Can I take care of it? Can I improvise on that? So I need to find out where I'm going wrong, where I'm improving myself. Of course, Flux and Transformation is a wonderful thought process where a lot of, you know, learning organizational process is thought of. And of course, with the way the things are changing in the current scenario, we need to be very open to the transformation process, the flux part, the changed actors around us. And of course, we need to understand that instrument of domination, we should try to be becoming more human and stop uh, you know, forcing people around, right? So all in all, these eight metaphors are very interesting metaphors. And at times, you know, metaphors, uh, one metaphor actually tells you what you will express in say thousand words. So uh, that is how images of organization can be used for understanding the organizational structure. At times we can also think of, uh, you know, how do I want to plan my organization? Let me have a look at these metaphors. Which is the dominant metaphor I want in my organization? Let me start planning according to it, right? All right, guys, happy learning. Hope you've enjoyed this.